So next up, we've got Gant all the way from the USA, who I'm sure many of you have heard of before. He's been a popular guest on our show and tells in the past. And he's very active within TensorFlow.js as one of our GDEs, Google Developer Experts. So thank you, Gant, for joining us here today. And um, I hear you've made a pretty cool project around presenting, in fact. So maybe you can tell us more about this and how it works. Yeah, um, so I have this pretty, it, I love presenting. I've actually traveled all around the world, chatting with the different people. And I have to say that now that everything's virtual, I am going to twice as many conferences and I'm seeing infinitely fewer people. <laughs> I miss my hallway tracks, my, my, you know, when I'm just talking, like it's great because I'm chatting with you, but if I'm doing a presentation, um, I'm, I'm used to seeing people in the audience nod their heads and smile and chat and ask questions. And I think that's like a critical part that, that I've been missing. That's sort of uh, part of the inspiration. Also, I, I have this other thing where I went to Universal Studios 10 years ago, and they used to show me these, these movie trailers when you go there. Uh, and then you would squeeze this bar with your right hand if you liked what was happening in the trailer. And then you would squeeze this bar with your left hand if you disliked it. And I thought this was so cool because it was like they were able to gather all this data and then understand what people thought about it. And they could overlay it, average it, just the amazing information you could get from something like that. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I always wanted to have something like that. You know, even when I'm presenting in person, like, did that did that joke actually land? <laughs> and then right, you can just watch yeah, the green that bar. <laughs> <laughs> that moment of silence until you wait for a reaction to appear. Somewhere. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, so I was like, oh, you know, I really wish we could have something like that. We're even more distant than ever now. And I was like, ah, you know what? With AI, I think we can create it. Awesome. Great stuff. Now, I know this is a real issue for presenters. I also give a lot of presentations for TensorFlow.js. And um, especially now in the current times, it's very hard to see who's on the other side. So can we try this out somehow? Can, let, let, let's yes. get a demo going. Yeah, let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And then you're going to be my audience. Uh, okay, which is a, sounds good to me. So if you if you hate me, I will know. I will know exactly. <laughs> I'll try my best <laughs> to give my best smiles. <laughs> All right. So the cool thing about it is, is because it's TensorFlow.js, it's easy enough for me to go ahead and just turn this into a website that everybody can use. So I created a website called EnjoyingThe.show. And uh, this is a pretty cool aspect. So. Yes, uh, please put up with my theatrics just a little bit here. <laughs> um, but the idea is very simple. You can either watch a room or you can join a room as, as an audience member. OK, so let's go ahead and check this out real quick. And what I'm going to do is let's create a room. We're going to create a room called TF. And that'll be for TensorFlow. So we're going to go into this room. And you can see right now we're watching the TF room and nobody's in there. Um, so sure enough. And so I can take this link down here, enjoying the dot show room slash TF. Now, Jason, can you join this room real quick? Just go ahead sure, and go to that good. URL. If you just ping me the link and I shall join right now. Yeah, here we go. Just, uh, there it is going your way. OK, let me open on my side and Cool. I'm in the room, I believe. Now, we can see that you're in there. Now, at the model's loading, and then it's also going to ask for access to your camera. Yeah. And now it should go ahead and start seeing your face soon. And then when it starts to see your face, it will start doing a sentiment analysis. And then you should see um, whether you're happy or sad. It'll actually say it directly on your side. Uh huh. OK, one second. Cool. So I, I'm in the room, and I can see myself here on the screen live. Um, I can see the bounding box around my head, so clearly it's recognized me. That's really cool. And what are you seeing on your side, Gant? Yeah, so as of right now, we could see that you are happy. Can you give me a, let's give me a different facial expression real quick. Okay, let's do a surprise. Okay. Yes, oh, yeah, there we absolutely, go. Hey. immediately. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. I'm trying okay. doing my sad I, face. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to work, though. <laughs> I can see it. You're trying. <laughs> it's all, it's all over the face. <laughs> can, can you give me angry? <laughs> I know, I can't, I'm, I'm just very bad at being angry, but surprised and happy, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> That's awesome. And neutral, just no, no expression whatsoever. You're just listening to my talk and it's boring you. Are you too happy? 
You're such a happy guy. This is great. I want you in all my audiences. <laughs> so maybe we can bring in a second person. Um, I, we've got Eric yes. on the call as well, who's producing this video for us. Would it join the, uh, the fun here, Eric? Let's see how this goes. All right. So I see that there are two people that are in the room. And so now all I need. Ah, there we go. Both of y'all are showing happy. Very hey. cool. Okay, I'm going to go all surprise. Right, now, new, it, oh, I got one sad, one surprise. Nicely done. Oh, <laughs> surprise went to happy. Jason, I know that's you. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that is me. I'm smiling again. <laughs> Nicely done, y'all. All right. Can we get both of y'all to be happy for one second? Let's hear. Two happy people. Perfect. And now two neutrals. Let's see, neutrals. See if we can pull that off. Good. And then let's see if we can get angry. Uh, I hate your presentation. <laughs> angry and disgusted. I love it. The coolest thing about this is like now, if you're giving a virtual talk, you can give out a link. And then as people are having different facial expressions, you can actually see it all happen. And I have a cute little video back on the main page. So I'll go back to that real quick. You can see when I was originally testing it out here, are some friends and I, uh, all of us sitting there on Zoom messing with the actual demo. <laughs> so yeah, and this is all powered by the magic of TensorFlow.js. I'm not actually getting a picture of your face sent to me. I'm yeah, not and that, actually that's getting... especially important, I think, when you're attending presentations, you might be doing other things as well. So you yeah. want to kind of like, you know, respect their privacy, but still get that information about, you know, the happiness of the of the people and that kind of stuff, at least. <laughs> that's, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a facial sentiment analysis on the client directly in the browser using your webcam. And then what's getting sent to me is a string, uh, what room you're in and what your facial expressions are. And that's all getting brought back down in live time with a subscription to GraphQL to give me a real time update of how things are going. And this is the most exciting aspect of this whole thing, because I can't tell you, uh, I have way more computers than I have, you know, time to actually look at. Now I could use this for setting up security cameras throughout the house. Like you're not allowed in this room or what's going on over there um, or for identifying uh, where my dogs are in the house. I can have all that information on different cameras sent, you know, universally and then get an update immediately, which is like a really fun aspect too. So, so a little bit more, I want to dig in on some of this stuff. So um, obviously you're using TensorFlow.js, super cool, running in a browser, super cool. But like, what, what models are you using here to get this? Um, is it a combination of models, just one model or? or give this me one, I was, I was doing my own. And then I, uh, Vincent Mueller, who does uh, Just a Doo Doo Hacks, is his Twitter handle. Can't beat his stuff. It's so good. Um, I was thinking about switching out a bunch of different models, but this one is the um, facial landmarks with a 128 point. Um, and uh, it's, it's just really, really, really worked out well. And I was like, you know, if I'm trying to train my own, I'm, I'm going to end up with a bunch of bias. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go with, I'm going to go with this. So it's really cool. This is community helping community because that's an open source platform. And then this is an open source website and platform for everybody. And then I'm excited to see what kind of things people could do and using this with their audience. So uh, I have to say thanks so much. That, and I have to say, you know, honestly, um, this being a GraphQL subscription through, we got a credit from, um, from Amazon to go ahead and just make it real time. So you're not going to slam me in fees as you're getting hundreds and hundreds of people set up like that. That was a cool donation <laughs> by them as well. That's very useful as well, for sure, definitely. Um, Cool. So obviously people can try this out. It's live for people to use. So we can put up the link in the description uh, after the show, and maybe even an overlay. <laughs> and um, where do you see this going in the future? Like what, what's your end goal here? And um, do you have anything in the pipeline right now? Uh, yeah, I, I like this as a great way. If you're going to do a talk about um, TensorFlow.js and you are in person, feel free to bust out this example as well. Uh, and, you know, I thought about maybe it would be really cool if you had your talk recorded and it actually recorded the setup of like when people were smiling, when nice. they were Nice. You can scrub back over time and see the sentiment yeah. and uh, mood and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Exactly. You could tell if that joke did land or not. And you, could, <laughs> you could go because honestly, when you're presenting, there's a chance that you are not actually able to pay attention to your audience. You're thinking about the next thing you say. I call it uh, next up syndrome. Right. I don't even hear the talk before mine or the talk after mine. I'm always focused. 
But uh, I think it'd be a great improvement tool as well for you to actually find out, you know, how it went, um, being able to see people's reactions and, and sort of like gather that together as, of course, with them saying, yes, I approve on my laptop. That's the beauty of it. It's privacy. It's kind of sitting there and you're not going to crash my server. It's all running on the client <laughs> machine. You might even find some hidden gems, I'm thinking as well, like unexpected happy moments, which you didn't realize everyone was like enjoying so much. And <laughs> And when you scrub back over time, you can actually see those moments kind of like, you know, highlighted or something yeah. like this. That's kind of cool. Yeah, if it's a talk you're going to give more than once, um, you can definitely use this. And then if you had something that you just threw in there and did great, now you're going to throw it in there on purpose every time. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome demo. Um, if people want to make a project like this themselves, what advice would you give them to get started in this space? Well, I'd say first thing you want to do is come up with a really cool idea. I'd say follow follow Jason, everybody. He's <laughs> posting really awesome stuff on uh, TensorFlow.js all the time. There's really cool stuff out there. And then I'll throw some stuff out on AI-FYI.com. I do a little newsletter with fun and interesting things as well. I'd say that once you kind of get bitten by the TensorFlow.js bug, um, there's a lot of tools out there. There's a lot of information out there for you to get it. Awesome. And I, I am a subscriber of that newsletter and it is pretty cool. Yes. So lots of good machine learning laughs in there and some great <laughs> projects. So thanks for sharing those with the community. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. And with that, thank you very much, Gant, for attending today. Thank you very much for having me.